Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Today I Learned, and we are going to drill and glue pen blanks. These set of jaws are designated pen blank jaws uh, that I set on my Nova Chuck, and uh, this particular blank I made. So quite satisfying when you're making pens out of the blanks that you've made. So I set it in there uh, probably two thirds of the way, and that's a three eighths uh, drill bit. I noticed when I was drilling in there, uh, it kind of started to wobble a little bit. So I uh, backed it in to almost the whole thing being uh, inside the jaws. But uh, I drill relatively slow and back it off just so it doesn't build up any pressure because I've actually blown the backs out uh, getting a little bit too aggressive. But we're going to drill both blanks clean all the way through. And uh, I have the dust extractor going now with uh, when I do this just to save a mess. And also when I cut these blanks I cut them a little bit longer than what they suggest just because when you do start drilling you could have a little bit of slop on the front and the back so I kind of have it pushed in there probably maybe three uh, sixteenths of an inch. So today we're doing two pens a purple and a green green pen. I'm turning it about, I think it's about five, 550 revolutions. I don't see any need to go real slow, but also not so fast that it could uh, burn up. Now let's glue the brass tubes. I finally started wearing gloves. I suggest you do the same because getting CA off your fingers sucks. But here's a trick. A uh, nail polish remover or acetone will take it off your fingers. So just go get your wife or girlfriend's nail polish remover or go get some acetone at the hardware store and don't buy the CA Glue's company uh, remover because that's all it is when they charge you a fortune. These brass tubes are already scuffed up, but if they weren't, I would take about like 180, 150 grit sandpaper and scuff them up. And before I do anything, I put a little bit of glue on the inside of the blanks, uh, the front and the back, and then I glue the actual blank itself and twist it as I'm pushing it in, wiping off the excess. And then after I look and I see how far it's set in, and I try to set them in uh, equal on both sides, and then uh, we'll take care of that later. These are both the uh, Dragon Twist Pens. They're really nice. And uh, I'm just pulling out the other brass from the other kit. And the same thing goes with this one. These are actually two different length brass tubes. So when you're putting it on the lathe, when we turn them later, uh, you need to keep your eye on the diagram because otherwise uh, it won't look right same thing I put the glue on the end because I've had I've turned some pens and then around the edge the glue didn't take and sometimes it chipped off and that's really upsetting when you're uh, turning a pen you get this far and then it ruins your blank it's not the end of the world but it's definitely a setback but we're doing the same thing here and uh, whoop. You gotta work relatively quickly, cause that and uh, keep it moving, or else that thing will grab, and you ain't gonna, you're not moving it. Had to move something a little bit more stout. There we go. Now I'm getting a little bit, getting a little bit quicker. This was also on my live stream. Uh, twitch.tv forward slash timber by mark uh, we stream monday through friday 12 30 to 5 30 come check us out 
we got all in there and then we're gonna wait I wait about maybe two or three hours let it really set in there and hopefully it doesn't get stuck to the bench but thank you all for watching uh, please check out my twitch channel and please uh, like and subscribe and share with your friends keep chipping away